doubt that you learned to dance like this at the seminary. You'd be surprised, madam. <laughs> I am surprised at you for dressing as Casanova. Well, isn't that what Halloween's all about? Dressing up as the antithesis of your own character? I thought it was our fantasy. Interesting, since you came as Madame Pop, don't Now, I? wait a minute. You think I would choose to look like this? It was a mistake, I swear. I've just been a good sport. I see. So who is your fellas? Excuse me. May I break? Thank you. Good evening, Dad. Victoria? What a wonderful costume. Thank you. You look stunning yourself. Thank you. Praise for Cleopatra, none for Caesar. I come to bury Caesar, not praise him. The evil men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their foam. Very good. I thought you were an expert at theology, not Shakespeare. My son has all kinds of hidden passions. Frankly, I'm surprised to see you here tonight dressed as Casanova. Oh? I thought maybe the Pope. That would be sacrilege. And besides, not all of us have grand illusions. Have you seen Heather around? Uh, I saw her on the other side of the room looking a little bit lonely. It's a shame Scott couldn't come tonight. Mighty Caesar strikes again. Scott, I think you want to keep dancing in the other room. I know. Mm. Mm. Romeo, for but one dance, deny thy profession and refuse thy badge. Oh, what's in a badge? Who you would be called a cop by any other name would be a sweet. You know, I know we're a little old to be playing Romeo and Juliet here, but why are we dancing like we're in our 90s? Well, I was thinking with the baby and uh, your long dress. This yeah. baby loves to dance. Yeah. Yes. Who the hell is that? I'm wondering about the guy in the corner when I recognize him. He's one of your father's security. Excuse me. You seen Kelly? No, she was standding right here a minute ago with the Major. All right, just relax. I'm sure she's fine. Maybe she's out on the dance floor. Sit down. Just take deep breaths. What happened? Of it? Long story. Easy, honey. Easy. It's going to be all right. We're going to get him tonight. We're going to get him. You grab the stove and spread it. Wait, what? Spread him, I said. Spread him. Spread him. It's me, Gina. Gina, what the hell are you doing here? Well, it's a ladies' room. I've got every right to be here. Well, you're dressed. Maybe so do you. how incredible you look tonight. You look pretty damn incredible yourself. I've never kissed a geisha before. <laughs> yeah, well, don't get any ideas, because the costume is as far as it goes. I don't do those. Oh, come on. I'd fall on my samurai sword for you. <laughs> you know what? You may already have. How'd you get off work? I called in a few favors. I can't wait to see the expression on your father's face. You know what? I think you get a kick out of this little ongoing battle you have with him. Oh, no, my little Lotus Blossom. I do not get a kick out of Arthur Donnelly. I definitely get one from his daughter. Konban Watashi Tu Ishu Ni I like the sign that that wasn't me. Would you like to come home with me tonight? You know what? Let me ask you, how do you know all these Japanese phrases? I learned them just for you. Mm -hmm. So how did I get so lucky to find you alone? Is your father's favorite doctor off getting champagne or what? Zach had to leave. Oh, no. I'm truly heartbroken. Oh, Scott, come on. It's not Zach's fault that my dad likes him better than you. You know, 
it's 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 reassuring that you know that I'm secure enough for you to just come right out and say that. No, oh, I know why you're secure. So what did Zach come as? Dudley Do Right or Jay Gatsby? Robin Hood. <laughs> oh, I like that. He can rob from himself and give to the poor. That's yeah, great. Why? We were having a good time. Here. I'm still having a good time, and I'm going to have even a better time later. Your phrases in Japanese aren't all that I. Like. Father come <laughs> I'm gonna let you see for yourself. Oh, that good, huh? <laughs> you know what? What? Let's do ourselves a favor, okay? And let's not talk about my father for at least a couple of minutes. I'll do you one better. We won't talk about him for the entire thing. Hey, maybe I should have gone to the men's room, but then I probably would have been arrested for being a peeping Tom. Did you know that down. was you? Yeah, why did you run away from me like you that? You scared me half to death the way you were coming at me. I was just trying to adjust my cape. What the hell are you doing here? I, I just, I bought a ticket. True, how the hell out of here? Oh, one of your hired hands, Mr. Well, look, Cece, why don't you just relax? Go cut yourself a cherry tree or something. Throw this witch out of your nose. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Mason? Gina, I'm not sure what I can do. Well, tell this man to get his hands off me for one thing, and for another thing, just explain to him that Cece overreacted. Well, maybe my father was a little premature. Mason, please don't bail her out. It is a party, Julia? And we'll have a good time as soon as she leaves the room. Go away. I feel like such a fool. And don't be ridiculous. Even I practically fell apart. And what do you expect? After what he did to you. You were handling this so well. And here I am, little Kelly, just coming unglued at every little now, thing that Would you please stop it? You have every reason in the world. You know, I've always wanted to be like you. I've always wanted to be strong like you and secure inside like you. But no matter what I do, I just, it doesn't work for me. Kelly, if I had been in that room, and I thought the man who attacked me was there. I couldn't have stopped myself from running from that room. Excuse me, hmm. has either of you seen Andrew? I didn't know she was in town. Maybe she's with Kane. No, they had an argument earlier. I thought she might be out on the terrace, but she doesn't seem to be anywhere. Well, what if Eden and Kelly, maybe Let's they... leave them out of it, shall we? Can you do me a favor, please, Ted? Yeah, you need it. Tell Eden I have some business with Boswell. I'll be back soon. Yeah. Don't let her out of your sight or out of this room. And please don't mention that I'm looking for Andrea. Okay, you got it. Well, I guess I'll check outside one more time. You might have your security men check the pool and tennis court areas. You think he's really here? I don't know, Mr. C. I do know this was a big mistake. Garber. I don't know. He said he went out to get some air. I didn't hear what he said to that blind. He sure was angry. He's furious. He talked to you for a minute. Right. Did I? What about our plan? Be tight. I'll be back. Oh! Whoops, sorry. No, that's all right. We were just leaving. <laughs> Plan B. Just doing ceases and balls. Where's old George anyway? Well, he's running around cruising that Keystone Cop somewhere. <laughs> Look at Sophia parading around like Martha Washington. Seems to me Lady Macbeth would be more appropriate. There's Eden and Cruz dragging out that same old tired Romeo and Juliet routine. <laughs> Did you know what? You look awfully cute as Napoleon. Yeah, thanks for the hot tip. And I'm supposed to be Napoleon. What do you mean? I mean, you didn't have anything to do with that pompadour dame. I can't believe I was fool enough to listen to you in the first place. All right, so I'm not up to snuff on my history lesson. If you could have come as anybody you wanted, who would it have been? David Crockett. Who else? <laughs> you know, that's kind of weird. 
Sonny's Crockett is Davy Crockett. It's some kind of demented sense in there, I guess. Beat it. Here comes the bride. Here goes the bride. Oh, what a wonderful costume. <sighs> Andrea. Why would I have seen Andrea? She doesn't tell me where she goes. She hates me. She probably went to her hotel. It's too bad you got so many songs to bring up to my pal. I could have used your help. Hi. Just need some air. Yes, it was a little uncomfortable in there. Yeah, it's more than just the heat, though, isn't it? As I said, I really didn't mean to ruin anybody's evening. Oh, I know. I just wish the two of you could get along. Now I'm going to shut up and stay out of it. Oh, what a great evening. I can see why my father finds you so charming. Really? I can't figure it out. Oh, come on. No, I mean it. You know, your father is so accomplished, and here I am right out of a drug rehab center. Trying to see if I can fit the pieces of my life together. I mean, I don't even know who I am half the time. I can't figure out why your father finds me attractive. Well, I think you put those pieces back together a lot better than you think you have. How do you know? I have seen a lot of people going through the same kind of reevaluating you are. I bet you've helped a lot of them. The blind leading the blind, yes. Excuse me? Well, I have to do some reevaluating myself. You know, priests aren't immune. Does it feel strange to be at a party, like, I mean, being a priest and everything? <laughs> yes. Yes, actually, it, it does. I don't think I should have come. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to say that you should have No, 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 I, I know that. I just, I, I don't belong here. Oh, of course you do. You can sort of have fun now and then. Yes. And this should be one of those nights. I think it's time for Cleopatra to get Casanova out on the dance floor. No, really. No, sorry, no, you don't. No, she doesn't yeah. mind, but only one dance. I have the next one. All right, then. Come on, let's go. Keeping anything from me, are you? No, of course not. 
Okay. <laughs> I didn't see your father. Uh, yeah, I did. Actually, I think he's just taking care of his security. You know, after a little escapade with Gina. Well, I know. I'm feeling much better. Yeah. Hmm. You know, if I add things up right here, I think we've spent the last ten Halloween parties together, which I think deserves a little reminiscing here. Do you remember the 1979 Halloween party? Uh, that was the year you and I went in Sunny and Cher. It certainly was. <laughs> I don't know how I ever let you talk me to that one. Why? I think it sounds sweet. <laughs> She was Sunny. I had to play Cher. Get out of cool off. Yeah. Never again. Like to dance again, madam? What I can't hear you under here. Did Victoria steal your secret dance partner? It would be ridiculous. What did Cruz want? I don't know. Something about Andrea. Freeze! And now, back to the Emmy Award winning Santa Barbara. Put the knife down. Wait a minute. Shut up! Put the knife down slowly and stand up! Will you sit? Bruce. Shut up! Search this. Oh, good God. Get an ambulance out here right away. Wait! We're late. Call forensics and cordon off this area. Listen to you, me. I'll listen to you. I'm, I'm ready to listen to you. I'm ready to listen to you, man. You want to... You want to explain this to me, Philip? What the hell are you doing here? I came out to get away from the heat and the noise. I just found her lying here. You, you didn't touch her. I picked her up out of... <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Andrea. Aiden? Hey, Mama, I've got to go anywhere. I've, I've got to help her. To Darling, help. don't you can't help her. Oh, Cruz, I've got to talk to no, her. No, I've got no. to say something Eden, to her. Eden, Eden. She's dead. He killed her. Is it true what they say about Casanova? You know? Oh, Father Michael. I thought I saw you before his Count Dracula. Yeah, well, I... Father, have you seen Cruz? No. Uh... Gina, have you seen Chris? Gina! Get your no. hands off me, CP. You don't know when to give up, do you? No, I don't. I want you out of here. Come here. Get over here. Get her out and keep her out for good. Come on, move it. Mason, please, will you talk some sense into Out, me? out. Not again. Uh, Mr. Mason loves me bride. I'm not going to give up until I find Frankenstein. You really think you're going to find Keith? I'm not going to give up trying. I gotta find her. Find who? I shouldn't have heard her that way. Bruce, my security. We lady. found Andrea down the beach, Mr. C. This time he didn't stop at me. Oh my God. Where is she? Kane. Look. Uh... <laughs> Brother, I. Well, I'm she? sorry, man. She's... she's dead. I'm sorry. He... He killed her, man. 
Look, I've got to get on top of this before this party gets out of hand. Uh, you want to take Eden home with you for the time being? Wait, wait, wait. Where's Heavy Seen Kelly? Last time I saw her, she was with Ted. I don't want you to let Eden out of his I won't. I won't. Darling, why don't you just come inside with me now? I'm going to make an announcement. Your mom and dad can take you home. No, no, no. I want to go. No, I'm going to have to go downtown and do some stuff. It's going to take a while. I'll come. Would you have any idea who would have done something like this? We heard that it was, uh... I don't, I don't Philip Hamilton, Hamilton was standing over the bottom. Major? Yes. yes. Do you want to speak to somebody? I, I don't know. He says that she was... And the terrorists right now should step inside the building for a moment. Thank you. I am sorry to interrupt the revelry. Is everybody inside? My name is Cruz Castillo. I'm with the Santa Barbara Police Department. Regret to inform you that we've had a tragedy down the beach this evening. A young woman was murdered. I want everybody who's wearing a mask at this time to remove it. Everybody. For obvious reasons, she will not be allowed to leave this building without being identified and photographed by the police front front exit. If you can give us an account of your whereabouts during the evening, we'd appreciate it. If you left the premise for any reason, you can tell us the time of departure and return. Tell us about anything the least bit unusual that you saw or heard. The woman who was murdered was a blonde. She stood five feet, eight inches tall. She was dressed as hell in the floor. If you saw anybody talking to her before she left, or saw her outside speaking to anyone, please let us know. Thank you for your cooperation. Do you know anything at all yet? We're going to ask Philip Hamilton some questions I have him downtown. I'd like you to be there, actually. All right, I'll go home and change, and I'll meet you at the station. I'll have a squad car pick you up. Thank you. How's Eden? I don't think she believed he'd go this far. Let's see. Bruce, is there anything I can do? No, Victoria, just make sure you don't leave until one of these policemen is available to take you home. I'm going to find Kelly and Ted. You take care. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. Yes? I know she was your good friend. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Stopped him if I found them when I was on the beach. You were walking on the beach? Yes. <sighs> you think I did it, don't you? Well, why not? Why not? You know, if I had to come up with an alibi, I wouldn't have a prayer. gonna be very late tonight. Cruz and Boswell are going to be talking to some people. I have to look over some preliminary statements and forensic reports. Well, is there some way I could keep you from having to go through this? Well, there's none. It's my job. I want to find them because I want to prosecute them. It's a car for me. I'll be home as soon as I can.
sunny. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve calling here after you let them throw me out of the party that way. Didn't have a chance to stop them. You had two chances. Look, Gene, I didn't call to argue. I nearly just left. I want you to get over here right away with a bottle of bourbon. What are you talking about? You think I run a liquor store? Well, I don't deliver. Gene, after what happened at that party, I need a drink. I can't leave Samantha alone. Well, you can forget about it, because you didn't lift a finger to help me Listen, at that party. Gina, after what happened at the party, you might be glad CC had you thrown out. Everything's squared away. We can go home now. It's a little late for that now, isn't it? Kelly, the premises were totally protected. If Andrea hadn't wandered away, she'd be alive now. She'd be alive now if she didn't have a party to go to. You can't fault me for this. Bruce was trying to tell you, Dad, it was a bad idea. But you didn't listen. You never listened to anybody, Dad. I'm trying to tell Whatever you... Whatever you were trying to do, Daddy, it didn't work. Would I would just stop it? Would you please all just stop it? Wouldn't you feel you have the right to argue about? Our, our friend has been murdered. And it might be somebody we know. Definitely myth and enchantment in the air tonight. Mm, yes. The magic of the mysterious east. <laughs> I'm serious. It's the kind of thing that you, um, you only find in the deepest stillness. You know, the silence was incredible when you were, um, you were pouring the tea and then you kissed me. I was almost afraid to breathe. Me too. so nice to um, not have to rely on words. I'm constantly explaining myself and, and defining and that I, I just was. It's called haiku. It's the art of saying much with very little. But in America, the most important statement that you might want to make only requires three words. I love you, Beth. I hope you know how much. I hope I can give you a night like this sometime. We both gave each other this night. I just supplied a few objects, that's all. But the enchantment you were talking about came from both of us. It's not over yet, is it? There's an old Japanese proverb. I know. In the land of sun, sun only sets when lovers wish it so. I was thinking more like, it ain't over until it's over. <laughs> I think it must have been after eight. Maybe 8.15, I left Lydia on the terrace. And I walked north along the beach, thinking, just trying to think some things out. Realized I had been acting like an idiot and I needed to apologize to Andrea. So I headed back to the club, but I saw Lydia first. I apologized to her. And then I went looking for Andrea, but I couldn't find her. You're certain you didn't run into her on the beach? If I had, she'd still be alive. Maybe. All right, that, that's enough of this for tonight. We can talk more tomorrow. Tomorrow's too late. Tomorrow will be fine. Can I go now? Yes, you can go. Say, you man. murderer. Shut up. Shut up. Don't! 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 It won't work! Shut up. This will not work! You're not letting him go, are you? Why shouldn't I let because him go? Because he killed her! I didn't find him standing over her body with a knife in his hand. Hold it! Hold it! Please, have a seat, Major. I just want to ask you some questions. We want to find out why you were found that way. I explained that to Castillo. All right, well, we need it for the record, so if you could just do us a favor and tell us again, please, from the time that you left the party. The party was getting very hot. 
and uncomfortable. I was talking to Sophia Capwell and her daughter, Kelly, and I decided to step out and get some air. And what time was that? I don't know, 9 o'clock or so, I imagine. All right, so you walked down to the beach. I wasn't planning on it. But as I was about to return to the party, I heard some sounds coming from the beach. What kind of sounds? As if there was some sort of struggle, fighting. I followed them down to the beach. I came upon Andrea's body. And removed the knife. It was a reflex action. I've already explained that. I know I was wrong. You had a personal relationship with the victim, didn't you? She used to work for me. And I liked her. But that was the extent of it. You have never made it a secret that you hate Cain. It must have bothered you greatly that Andrea cared for him so much. It saddened me that such a lovely young lady had such poor taste in men. We've just witnessed a very serious accusation against Cain Garver. Why would you accuse him of killing Andrea? He's a violent and unstable man, has public record. There must have been dozens of people who witnessed the confrontation that he and Andrea had before she left the party. It's obvious he followed her to the beach, continued the argument, and killed her in a fit of rage. She was raped before she was murdered. Are you saying that Cain is the man who's been attacking the women in this town? I'm not convinced of it. Boy, if I need this, I'm drawing a Quaker County on Saturday night. Are you sure it's safe? I told you. Julie's at the DA's office. Probably gonna be there all night. Wait till you hear what happened. I heard it was on the radio on the way over. I can't believe it. I mean, it's horrible enough. There's this creep out there raping innocent women. Now he's killing them, too. I mean, what are we gonna do? Nobody's safe. Nah, he's not gonna get you. You don't know that. If I could find out where Keith is, I'd pack a bag and take Brandon, and I'd be out of here tomorrow. No, oh, now, you don't want to do that, Gina. What would old Sonny do without you? We got big plans, remember? It doesn't matter anymore. I wasn't meant to be alone. I, I need somebody to look after me. Well, hell, I'll look after you, Gina. How? You live with Julia, remember? Well, you just say the word. I'll walk right out of here. You can't do that. Mason would never let you. Yeah, well, old Mason's not around at the moment, so, uh... Why don't you just let old Sonny take care of you tonight, huh? Come on. Just don't let go. Make me not afraid. Make me think everything's gonna be all right. He thought Andrea was me. We don't know that for sure. Do I we? know. He was there. I know. He was with us all the time. Tom Brokaw, one-on-one -on -one with George Bush tonight, and Michael Dukakis tomorrow, only on NBC Nightly News.